Hi everyone! <laughs> that was awful. Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a Cuphead Boss tier list. As you can see here, we've got the, the bosses. And so you'll notice that these aren't the normal tier names. I actually named them myself because honestly, just letters is boring. We need to communicate more than just letters. So the first one I've got is Entering Hell Itself. The second one is rather difficult. The third one is moderately annoying. The fourth one is easy. And the fifth one, as you can see, is I could do this if I were in a 10-year coma. So, without further ado, let's begin this video. All right, let's see who we have first. First, we have Cagney. Oops. I'm going to put him in easy because he's an Inkwell Isle 1 boss and his attacks are pretty simple he's not throwing like 76 different things at you but at the same time it has some difficulty to it so i'm not gonna put it in i could do this if i were in a 10-year coma next we have hildeberg i'm gonna put her in easy with cagney carnation because the only di really difficult part of her phases is when she turns into the moon at the end and it's a fairly short phase dad hates hildeberg yeah, i do because he keeps getting stuck on the haws that she throws at you. Literally oh, oh, oh. the easiest things to avoid of all time. When you said moon, all I could think of is moon baboon. <laughs> <sighs> that's, an, that's an inside joke. We don't need to mention that on this channel. Okay. Next we have the little Wally Warbles um, bird thingy. Uh, this guy, uh, his face is really long, but... It's not, it's pretty simple, so I'm gonna put him in easy with the others. Wow, we all, all so far all of the bosses are in easy. War is, so they broke down each section of the boss? Yeah. Oh. There's also one for the adult one, I'm gonna put it, I, well actually I can't tell you that, because that's for later. Rumor Honey Bottoms. Ha! Oh! <laughs> we were thinking the exact same thing. I need to check if the officer is on here. Okay, they're not, so uh. I'm basically gonna put her in. Should I put her in moderately annoying or rather difficult? I want. I kind of want to just stick her right in the middle here. I would say moderately annoying, but yeah, probably moderately annoying. These people are so dramatic when it comes to rumor honey bottoms. Like she's not that hard. I would put War Wally Warbles in a higher category myself. Personally, I don't think that that part's easy at all. Well, yeah, but the but way like... he floats around and he, I think that's very difficult. It's. It's. I mean, it's. Compared to the rest of the boss fight, though, I don't know. That, that makes that's part of the reason why the boss fight's so freaking hard. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure every phase co contributes in some way. All right, who's next? Captain Briny Beard. I'm gonna put him in moderately annoying, I guess. Wait a minute. No, I, he's not on the same level as Rumor Honey Bottom. So we're putting him in easy with the other three. He's not too bad. Yeah, he's not that bad. The only bad part about it is the is that barrel that literally f will fall on you if you're dodging the laser, and that's not fair because you can't move. Yeah, I'm with you. So li literally just let me survive. I'm literally doing the best that I can. Next we have Sally Stage Play. I'm going to put her in rather difficult because that um, because she's not easy. No, that's a She's on Inkwile 3 for a reason. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, because like... She's difficult. I don't even know where to begin with this. I wonder... I, I literally cannot even fathom which phase is the hardest. I mean, the first three are all very hard. The fourth one's not that hard. I think the one with the mice that come down from the windows is probably the hardest part. That's pretty difficult. They're not that difficult to avoid. I mean, they do roll around on the ground, but... All right, next we have this rat. This rat. He's, he's at least annoying. Yeah, he's at least moderately annoying. Some people think that he's like super easy for some reason, and I just cannot even see where they're coming from. He's not easy. He's either he annoying or difficult. He is not easy. I'm going to put him in like annoying because he's easier than Sally's stage play, but that does not mean he's easy. All right, what do we have next? Oh, we have this damn robot. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I need to even explain myself when I put him in the top tier. You're, he's, he's hell himself? 
Yeah, he is actually. That's the beginning of Dr. Kale. Yeah, that's just the first phase and it's already in the top tier. All right, what do we have? Oh, we have the third phase. We're, we're putting him right there with him. Oh, and by the way, I feel like I should mention, it doesn't matter what order on the tier they are, they're all the, like the same. I just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, next we have Cala Maria. Ooh, that's a tough one. You better put yeah, him we're putting in him in. Yeah, we're putting him in rather difficult. Her. That's why I said. I said him. No, he didn't. No, well, well, she, well, she can be a him if she wants oh, to. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> anyway. Here comes the war police. What? A what police? The woke police. Anyway, as I was saying, this bus is pretty easy. Oh, you might have no, that, that's not what I meant. <laughs> this no, boss is rather, hard. Rather difficult. Yeah, rather difficult. Then this is counting all three phases, so that makes it hard. Who's next? This eyeball ghost. Oops. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to put him in moderately annoying because it's not easy to avoid his bouncing eyeballs. Well, there's those wretched pumpkins. That's that drop those pink things on you and alter your carts. Yeah, if you don't have the right weapon, if you have the right weapon, which I think was the was it spread, one of the weapons is really good for that. And I can't remember which one it was. Well, who cares? Next, we have the skeleton. Just kidding, he's so easy. I could do that if I were in a 10 year coma, even with those purple things. Not purple, pink things that fly down and try to alter your card. They never, they never literally hit your card. They literally never hit your card. Okay. And besides, literally all you have to do is avoid his hands. So he is pretty simple and easy. Next we have Ali. Uh, I forgot Ollie his the name onion? was. Yeah, Ali the Onion or something. He's going right next to that skeleton. I could do that if I were in a 10-year coma. He doesn't even attack you. He just cries. I mean, yeah, he, he's still technically attacking Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the, the tears hurt you, but they're pretty easy to avoid. Next, we have these things. I'm going to put them in moderately annoying because, they, because their breathing fire takes up 97% of the screen. Yeah. But other than that, they're not that difficult. And to be honest, it doesn't make a difference if you kill one of them because they still take turns. Okay, next we have this engine. It's going in moderately annoying with the with the. He's kind of he's kind of hard. I'm surprised you didn't put him in rather difficult. He's not as hard as Sally Stage Player Kella Maria, though, right? Yeah, I mean, he's he he can be a pain. I mean, yeah, but like it's it's, it's not screen. it's not it's not that long of a phase. No, luckily it's a short phase. It's just those fire rings that he drops are a pain. All right, next we have these drinks from King Dice. Oh my God! They're going right there with Sally Stage playing Calamaria. They are such put, a pain. I'm surprised you didn't put them in entering hell itself. That they're not as it's not as hard as Doctor Call. Dude, it's pretty they bad. Are, they are really bad. It's real. They definitely deserve a rather difficult. Anyway, next we have Chips Bed again. Honestly, sorry, dude, but I could do you if I were in a 10-year coma. All you have to do is avoid his chips. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Next, we have the cigarette say. Uh, I'm going to put him in moderately annoying. Yeah. Because, like, his attacks aren't that easy to avoid. But luckily, it's just a mini game, so. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, next we have... These domino thingies, I'm going to put them in moderately annoying, too. Yeah? You're not a big fan of the dominoes? Yeah. They're mid. Next, we have this Hocus Pocus bunny rabbit. What is he, from the Looney Tunes or something? <laughs> kind of looks like it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put him in moderately annoying. Dang, there's a lot of people in moderately well, annoying. Well, this game is moderately annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. fun, but it's a very difficult game. Yeah. So, there's not a lot of easy bosses. I mean, yeah, most of them go right in the middle there. But anyway, as I was saying, this this Hocus Pocus Bunny's attacks aren't that easy to avoid. Because, like, he only has two attacks, but they're kind of difficult. All right, next we have this horse. Moderately annoying. 
because like you're in a race with other horses. I'm glad that they separated all of these mini bosses into separate bosses. Otherwise, King Dice would be up here with Dr. Call. Right. All right, next we have Paralia Letter. Uh, I'm gonna put her in easy. Yeah, she's pretty easy. Yeah, she's not that difficult. She's pretty, pretty simple. Next we have this Magic 8-Ball. Now, believe it or not, I've never actually played this mini boss. So I'm gonna totally guess here, but I'm gonna put him in easy. Yeah, easy, moderate, moderately annoying would be the two I would put it. All right, next we have this Hypnotic Carrot. You're going in 10-year coma, dude. Like, honestly, his attacks are pretty easy. Even though they're ho his uh, third eye is homing or whatever. Yeah. But most of the things in this game are homing, so it doesn't matter. Next, we have this monkey. Rather difficult. It's not that the concept is that, that difficult, but that boss fight takes years. Yeah. Or what a, feels like years. Because it, you have to play a memory game with him, and every single time that you get one pair right... He starts attacking with his symbols, and this goes on for like 25 seconds. And then it goes back to the memory game, and then you have to do it over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, anyway, it's very difficult. All right, next we have King Dice himself. Eh, moderately annoying, I'd say. You just, you, all, you just have to avoid his cards that he sprinkles out of his fingers by parrying the hearts. But it's very difficult. I, I would put that in rather difficult. Yeah, I guess so. If not... That, that was that's really hard boss at the end yeah well it's well it depends on how much hp you build up really okay next we have the devil we're putting it up there i mean it this is the bet this makes sense that he's in the hell tier right <laughs> because he's a link bum. anyway he is really difficult i mean it makes sense because he's the final boss of the original game all right, next we have this Mortimer Freeze dude. Um, I'd put him in, uh, um, I don't know where to put him. Should I put him in rather difficult or moderately annoying? I'll just put him in rather difficult. Or no, I'll put him in moderately annoying. Because is, that, is it the end part or is that the beginning of that boss? Oh, that's the beginning. Oh, never mind. Then we're putting him in. Yeah, that, that part's easier. We're going to put him in. I could do this if I were in a 10 year coma. Next, we have this snowman phase. Ne we're putting that in moderately annoying. Yeah. The last phase is terrible. Yeah, we're putting that in rather difficult. So, as you can see, Mortimer Freeze really varies. Yeah, it really amps up from the beginning is easy, then it gets moderately, and then the end is. So the challenge really amps up as it goes. Yeah, literally. All right, next we have Esther Winchester. Oh, oh my god, that's a tough one, dude. We're those sausages in... at the end when you have to fly, fly through those. Oh my. That sounds really sus. It's sausage. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Anyway. That's a very tough boss. I would say. Yeah, that is definitely I'd say rather, rather difficult. difficult. Or I, I'd almost put it in the top tier. It's probably one of the hardest flying ones. Yeah, definitely right with, one of the hardest ones. It's right up there with Dr. Cal. All right, next we have this boner. Boner? Because he has a bone on his tattoo. Oh, yeah, it was a bone tattoo. Fingers on it, I can't see. Oh, sorry. All right, we're putting him in easy. His attacks are rather easy to avoid. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Next we have the pups. We're putting them in, I could do this if I were in a 10 year coma, unless you're like doing the secret phase or something, they are super easy. Yeah, you just gotta jump around and use homing. All right, next we have Goopy Lagrande. Now, I'm going to be totally honest here. He's not a 10-year coma for me. I, 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 I actually have trouble with this boss. He, yeah. Don't laugh at me in the comments, No, please. he's terrible. I, don't, I agree. He's not, he's not the easiest. He's, yeah. he's annoying. Yeah, everyone says he's the easiest, even though he's, like, not. All right, next we have this chick. She's she, kind of interesting because she's twist the screen sideways yeah but it's still pretty easy as if you get used to it yeah she's kind of hot all right next we have this spider-man i'm gonna put him in in moderately annoying because i don't love that but you know it's not yeah, that he is annoying yeah it's 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 right in the middle next we have this chick why are all of the chicks in the dlc so hot <laughs> <laughs> i sound so sus right now anyway we're putting her in Moderately annoying right next to the Spider-Man. What about this dude? 
We're putting him right next to the other two. He, he's, he's kind of annoying with that. Yeah. That, that, uh... Yeah, it's moderately annoying. Also, he likes to fake you out. Yeah. I that, should do the I should do the DLC summary sometime. That, that tongue thing is a real pain. All right, next we have this announcer. The shock when you first play it is kind of great, but you literally just have to avoid attacks that are coming at you like at like two one attack per twenty one seconds. It feels right. like it's so easy. All right, next we have Chef Salt Baker. We're putting him right next to Doctor Call and the Devil. He is really difficult, don't you think? Yes, very difficult. I mean, very difficult boss. The very first phase, very difficult. So many things are flying on the screen. You, There's 87 things that you have to avoid, plus this fire all that I would rather. Anyway. Then the second phase with the soul shaker is very difficult. Yeah. Third phase is pretty short, and then the last phase. Having, pretty difficult. Having to, having to jump up so and hit So basically this whole boss fight is just pretty difficult. Yeah. Next, we have the secret angel devil boss. I'm going to put them in easy. Really? I thought it was harder than that. Okay, fine. Just for your sake, we're putting it in moderately annoying. Some people probably don't even know that about that boss. Because it's a yeah. secret. People are going to kill us when they realize how low we're ranking the Howling Aces. Be because most people find that boss fight super difficult. But I don't. No, it's probably because I play that the most and I have the most practice, but we don't be biased here. Next, we have the pawns. We're going to put them in easy. They're not 10-year coma level, but... Next, we have... Who is this guy? The the bishop? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put him in moderately annoying because it gets progressively more difficult as it continues. Next, we have these frog people we're putting them in moderately annoying too they're definitely the hardest bosses on angle aisle one next we have the rook the rook is gonna go in moderately annoying as well next we have the queen the queen's not that difficult i'm gonna put it in easy yeah yeah next we have the knight I'm putting him in rather difficult because you have to hit him 20 times. That's way too many. Next, we have this Baron Asher group Bon Bon chick. We're putting her in rather difficult. Yeah. That final phase is terrible. Next, we have Beppy the Clown. I'm going to put him in moderately annoying. I can beat him in like five tries. Next, we have Jimmy the Great. We're putting him in rather difficult. I mean, his attack, he has like 74 phases, and they're mm -hmm. all not that easy. Right. Next, we have Grim Matchstick. Ooh. I think it's fairly obvious. I think it's fairly obvious where this one's going. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah, it's right. infamous, pretty much. Next, we have Wally Warbles. I don't know whether to put him in the top tier or this tier. I'm going to put him up here. He's really, he's really difficult. Is that the end phase or the beginning phase? All, it's, it's, the, it's every phase except for the little kid. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's, it's a difficult one. That's a difficult boss. Next, we have Cell Sputter. I could do you with my eyes closed, too. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Glumstone the Giants. I'm going to put him in moderately annoying. That's a fun boss. Yeah, it's pretty fun and creative, but the se but that second phase with those gnomes? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If if you want to um, save this, just take a screenshot, I guess. But yeah, this is my official tier ranking of all the Cuphead bosses in difficulty. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. See you next time.